background. She's there. I see her. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. <laughs> hey guys, uh, vlogging again. This time in Miguel's car. He's driving. Uh, <laughs> um, we're heading. There's Danny in the back. Uh, we're heading to Surrey Food Bank. Uh, probably one of the most notorious projects for their um, name tag development that the students did, which ended up like spreading to all food banks in Canada, which is fantastic. We're gonna interview Pisa. We're gonna see how it's go. Hey guys, we have arrived at Surrey Food Bank and we're gonna go right inside. See you in there. So my name is Fiza Jaffer, I'm the Executive Director of the Surrey Food Bank. Surrey Food Bank, we are the second largest food bank in British Columbia right now and we serve over 14,000 people a month in Surrey and North Delta. Our relationship with Envision Financial goes back a, a lot of years, uh, and, but our relationship with the Douglas College students goes back just a few years. We actually did a, a project with them, uh, and they were very, very instrumental in how we actually market and brand ourselves. Hello again, another vlog. We're here with Fiza at the Surrey Hi. Food Bank. This is the past organization uh, with Douglas College a number of years ago, I believe 2013. 2013. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just here to interview to see how things are going now. What were some of the highlights of the Douglas College Envision Financial Program and what were some of the takeaways you got from that experience? So one of the biggest highlights was actually working with the students in a marketing capacity. So for a lot of years we really didn't have a, a great uh, idea of how to brand ourselves. And uh, we specifically chose our volunteer program because we have over 400 volunteers, we have a very small staff, so our volunteers are kind of the face yeah. of the food bank. So when the, the students came in, uh, we had we didn't have name tags, we didn't have a, a presence, uh, we didn't know who the volunteers were, like they didn't have a, a distinguishing uh, marks or features or anything. So with, when the uh, Douglas College kids came in, they actually created a specific name tag for our volunteers with our brand on it. So when clients come in, they can say, okay, well, this is the volunteer's name, how long have they been working here? So we have one volunteer who's been here since uh, 1992. Wow. So she's been here for a really long yeah. time. So then they know who that is. And the newer volunteers, they love it because they can say, they, they wear it with pride. Yeah. But they're a Surrey Food Bank volunteer and we give them that kind of respect and say, you know what, this is your name, this is your tag. Now, uh, in addition to creating the name tag, we actually created uh, aprons. So like serviceable aprons, so the volunteers don't get their, their clothes dirty, again, and they're distinguishable. Mm -hmm. uh, that the vol volunteers come in, they get their own apron, they get to put on their name tag, and they're here to work. And this, that's their yeah. thing, right? It's their station, it's their name tag, it's their um, um, apron. So that was a really, really great thing that's for us. Fantastic. So um, how does it feel to be the first uh, food bank to have that name tag um, initiative? That's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, I, I love pioneering stuff. Yeah. So that was really cool. And it, it's really, really heartening for us to see that something that we created with the help of Envision and Douglas College is that now other food banks are, are using that as well. So it for us, it's a really, really thing. Um, I love to be a leader. So uh, it's it, that's really cool. Awesome. So what are some goals that the Surrey Food Bank has for the new year? So the first major goal is uh, to get us into a new facility. We've okay. actually been looking for seven years for a new building. Uh, the building that we're sitting in right now is too small. Okay. So we need something at least three times as big uh, because just our clientele is expanding, the diversity of our clientele is expanding, the needs of the clients. Um, so that's the huge goal, the big yeah. hairy goal, as we like to say. Yeah. Um, the second goal is to do more of an education piece for the community of who we are, what we do, who we serve, because we're seeing more and more clients that are coming in that are the working poor. Mm -hmm. uh, it, there's no real face. Uh, there's no, like there was an old stigma that, you know, people who use a food bank are homeless or they're on assistance or they're disabled. Not anymore. And that's not, a, it's people like you. Yeah. 
uh, people like you and I who are using the food bank, like you go into any neighborhood in Surrey and Delta and you, you will find people using the food bank. So it, it's that kind of education piece for the, the clientele, or the clientele and for the community, especially the community, it's huge. Wow, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like I said, that. I'd love to be a pioneer. Yeah. <laughs> How crucial are the volunteers that give their time here? Huge. Volunteers are the lifeblood of yeah. what we do. We could not run our organization without them. Uh, so we, we're a very large organization, but we have a very small staff. Uh, so we serve 14,000 people a month, we only have 15 staff. Uh, and so we have 400 volunteers that are uh, active and regular, uh, at least 40 to 50 a day. So without that, we could not even open our doors. Wow. So the volunteers giving of their time, giving of their skills, giving their compassion, their warmth to our clients, that's, it's invaluable. Yes. That's fantastic. So we noticed a lot online when we were doing a little bit of research that uh, a lot of people talked about the Name Tag Initiative, which is awesome, but we just wanted to ask, besides that, what else did the students do for the Surrey Food Bank? So directly they did the Name Tag Initiative. Indirectly they actually uh, made us think about okay. different things that we could do as an organization. So we revamped our kitchen, uh, our volunteer lounge downstairs to create a better volunteer experience. So we created the name tag holders, we created the aprons, we put up the big sign saying the volunteers make a difference to kind of give them that recognition. So it, it made us think about how we could use what the, the students gave us in order to enhance that volunteer experience for our uh, So for the final question, just wanted to ask, is there anything you wanted to tell the people out there about the Surrey Food Bank? Oh, so many things. How much time do you have? <laughs> um, just, you know, we are here to help. Uh, we're here to help our community. And uh, my personal philosophy is that uh, you should be the change that you want to see. And if you have the ability to help somebody, you should. And so our Q we are not government funded. Uh, so every single cent that comes in is from our community. Um, just to tell our community, tell our neighbors that, you know what, it is people like you. It is your neighbor that's using the food bank. So if you can help, please do. Yeah. Well, thank you for allowing us to sit down and see more about the Surrey Food Bank and how much they do for the community and letting us um, visit and kind of see what goes on. Oh, and, my pleasure. Yeah, thank oh, you. Thanks for coming in. Yeah. Subscribe, please. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <That's> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was it. Oh, oh, that was it. Oh. <laughs> 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 it gives me a minute.